Hi, this is Urban Eisenberg coming to you from Resilience Occupational Therapy. So what is fascia? You've probably heard the term in terms of myofascial release and a lot of, a lot of people are talking about fascia these days. In my work as a structural integrator, um, Ida Rall popularized the understanding of, of this tissue fascia. So technically, fascia is the connected tissue that surrounds your organs and sometimes permeates into them. So your, the outside of your stomach has a fascial layer to it. The outside of your muscles have a like saran wrap type layer that holds it in place. But the reality is the fascia also permeates into the muscle. So each individual groupings of muscle fibers is wrapped in fascia. And then each, each of those, when you put those groupings together, that's wrapped in fascia as well. And it goes all the way out to the whole muscle group. And then if you include tendon and ligament, when you're talking about fascia, which they're not technically fascia, but they're made of the same collagen fibers and the same general matrix and types of cells, just oriented more densely in some cases and aligned differently. But the fascia is this full continuity of, um, of the muscular fascia turns right into the tendons and ligaments um, and then attaches into the bone and the outside of the bone is wrapped in fascia. So it's this whole matrix that all of our organs, all of our bones, all of our muscles are floating in. And if you have a restriction in one part of that matrix, it will cause a pull and effect on the rest of it. So when we're talking about fascial release, we're talking about in releasing fascia in one part of the body, we can open things up and give more space and fluidity for all of our bones, muscles, tendons, ligaments, and other organs to move more freely and resiliently through our body.